hello so let's get started with jquery so we have already discussed the concept of uh, the callback functions and other things dom and all so now how do we write our jquery code we have seen that to use jquery first of all we'll be calling our jquery fine from wherever you require you will call the jquery fine either from the cdn or local file so that is required and then we as we know jquery will be written in our script part now there are few things that we need to keep in mind that you will see a lot of jquery code that is written either in this or in this or you could directly write the jquery code wherever you require so what is the difference so document as we know is a reference to the whole document anything from the html part is the reference to document now generally you will find that most of the jquery code is written inside this so here once this basically says once our document is ready then we will be running this code you know we just discussed that this is a callback function so once the ready function is done document dot ready which checks if the document is ready we can run this code so what exactly document dot ready or the ready thing is doing is that it's making sure that the dom document object model is read, loaded and is available for manipulation this makes sure that the code we are writing executes properly fine nothing is missing over there now here this does not bother about external documents and other things so there is another one where you can check is on window on load fine and we run our remaining code in the callback function over here whatever we want to do so this makes sure the things like images and other documents are completely loaded this is kind of a full load of the page and then the work happens and this is something like just something happening directly fine not waiting for anything as soon as the script is encountered it will be executed so let's have a look at the example for this here we have the code for this so here in this part i am using document.ready function and we are doing a console log document loaded here we are doing a console log window loaded fine now let's do one thing we will keep it window before and log after the document part later because usually this will be ready for execution before window is loaded we should actually get a document loaded first window loaded later and we'll also just write one part directly as a script console.log and uh, let's say we are ready now theoretically what should happen over here is when i run this for the first message i should see is this because this is encountered as soon as it is there this will be the second one and this will be the third one so let's have a look at this let's go to our page here i have loaded this page initially itself i have opened the console window dependent upon your browser you can open the tools and open the console window fine so I have cleared this now let's reload this page and see what happens fine so here we can see we are ready document loaded and window loaded in this sequence now even though we had written the we are ready as the last one it got fired immediately as soon as the script was encountered the second one over here document dot ready here is on the second position but it gets fired even before the window load because it does not wait for images and other things to load but the dom should be ready okay so once the document object model is ready and safe for manipulation this code runs and this is you can say the most safest where you are assuming that images and other document should be loaded then our code is to be written within this this makes sure that the whole window is loaded and everything else associated with our document is loaded so these are the three ways in most of the cases we would prefer to write our code in into this part sometimes we might write it directly 
fine generally you won't see us writing anything on with this particular one but if required we might write something on the basis of windows window dot load or window on load so three functionalities i have shown you and this is how we are going to write our code the jquery and mix javascript will come over here fine so that is how we can start with this